Hey guys, it's Gonna Sitter again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with Lito. So Lito is basically an input controller for your augmented reality experience. So if you have done experiences in augmented reality, you know that you have to touch the screen and basically try to find the location. So what Lito is doing, they have this device that you can basically use as a controller. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to set up a project in Unity, how to use their latest version of the SDK, and also walking you through some of the experiences that they have. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Okay guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to download the latest version of Lito SDK. I, I went through that process before and I haven't done it since I did the first video on Lito and I'm really excited about it. I'm logged into their portal, which is developer.lito.cc. I logged in and I can see some of the links that I have right above for, and also the forums and topics. So looks like they are pretty busy and I'm really excited about what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and click on download SDK. And like I said in social media, I have no idea what I'm doing today. Let me close out of these things. And, but I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and, and get this going. So I'm gonna download the latest version of the SDK, which is beta 2018, 1030 version 4.4. So it's gonna click it and then download it. And then I'm gonna start looking at the documentation and then you know find out exactly what is it that we need to do. So they normally document everything really well. So it just says download the, you know, the latest package, which we did. It'll, and then they have a video looks like for getting it started. And I don't know, I don't think it's my video, but I'm gonna look at it anyways. And getting started, oh, it's not my video. <laughs> but anyways, let's go in and look at Lito device. So these are some of the requirements. So we'll need a Lito device, which, which I have right here. But if you don't have one, make sure that you go to their website to get one. And I'm gonna put their website in the description of this video. And also iPhone iOS 12, which I have. And then if you're using Android, of course you can use Android. It says to use Unity 2019.2, which can, can be downloaded from this link. I already have multiple versions, so we'll be, we'll be okay with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and open it up. And let me see what I have in here. So we have, looks like we have a full project, if, I, if I'm correct. If not, well, let's look at the documentation. Just, I don't wanna go ahead and, and then, you know, miss something. So talk about features, guy of using Lito, set up a Lito project. So let's go ahead and just set up a Lito project and see what it would take. So instructions, create a Unity project, open Unity, ensure that you have Unity version 2019. So we're just going to, we're just basically just gonna, so make sure that you have iOS build support and Android build support. I guess if you don't wanna do Android, don't do Android if you wanna use iOS or the other way around. So we're gonna use iOS because I have most of the devices. Not that I like one better than the other. It's just that I have iOS devices. So, and then we're going to be selecting, so it says on the project screen, use the drop down menu next to the new button, use, you know, create a new 3D project. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get that going. So it's gonna open up my Unity Hub here. And I'm just going to, so I think I'm gonna be open sourcing this project, what I'm gonna be creating right now. I'll, I'll make sure I check with them, make sure that's okay, but if everything is okay, I'm gonna be putting this in the, get, in the GitHub repo. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on new. And before I do this, see how I have 2019.3? We don't want to do that. They said that it supports 2019.2, so this is the latest one, 2019.2.11F1. So that's the one that we're gonna be selecting, and we're gonna be selecting 3D. And I'm really picky about names, so I'm just going to do something like Lito, Lito, we're gonna say Unity Lito Essentials. And then if I do more videos about it, which I'm sure I will, I'm gonna be putting them in the same repository. Okay, and I think we're good. Let's go ahead and hit Create. And I'm gonna keep reading through the instructions, that way we can get we can get ahead and make sure I get everything, everything good to go. So, and then it says, import the Lito Unity package into your Unity project. So we went and downloaded that Unity package already. So we're going to be basically adding that on their packages is what it seems like. Locate Lito SDK, find it in the, your downloads. Okay, so we did that. We unzip it using your Mac, open the finder, 
and open the root folder of the Unity project you created in Lito. Okay, that's what we did. Drag and drop the unzip Lito package into the packages folder. Interesting because I never put anything under packages, but that's okay. I'm sure that everything will be fine. So we'll just do that. We'll go ahead and open it up. And I'm just going to change the layout here because I was using it for something else. And it changed. So they said to put it under packages. They normally don't put anything under packages unless it's really required. But that's what they say. So we're just going to follow their advice. So it just says to do it in the file system. So that's what we'll do. Let me go ahead and so here's my packages directory. And then here's the Lito SDK. So let's go back here. And the name of the one that they have is, okay, so example Lito Beta. Okay, so that's what we'll do. I'm just hesitating about doing that, but that's what they say, so that's what we'll follow their recommendation. Okay, so if you're upgrading your Lito SDK, so we're not upgrading, return to the project. Unity will automatically install the Lito. Okay, awesome. So it looks like they it's installing everything automatically for us, which is cool and importing so that's actually really cool so they have everything nailed down and now it just says prepare your Lito project so we're going to go into I did this before but I honestly I don't really remember especially with all the things that I'm doing so it says go to Lito project setup or the project settings so we'll just do that as soon as this is done looks like it's done and hopefully looks like this is just a warning well it was an error but I think it's I think everything is good let me hit play make sure that everything is good yep all right, I normally just ignore the errors unless I really need to. Okay, so we're gonna go to Lito project and then configure for iOS. And it's going to import the assets for iOS. Looks like it did. And it brought in some packages, cool. It's probably some dependencies for, like it said on the, on the bottom of Unity. Looks like it said that it did import. Oh, there we go. Come the Unity XR AR kit. So it's, it's a way to, so I like how they have everything set up. So we did that and then it imported all the dependencies that we need. Cool. So I like that. So far, so good. So we'll just go here in your project support. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back into project setup. And it looks like the documentation is out of date because it says if your project supports iOS devices, click on import iOS packages. So I didn't see that. So we'll just continue. And then I didn't see that either. So we'll just, we'll just continue on. Okay, so if you press support iOS devices, check the mobile architecture set appropriately. Okay, so we'll, let's go ahead and do that and make sure that we have everything set up right. So they want you to go to player settings and then make sure that the right architecture, let me go back here, make sure that the architecture ARM64 is selected under the iOS tab. So we'll go under iOS, which we're on, and then make sure that I have the right architecture selected. And let me see so this is iPhone device SDK and the architecture we're gonna do arm 64 that's what they're requiring us to do if it doesn't work then we'll we'll fix it we'll figure it out all right so it says check that your graphics settings are suitable for mobile devices look on their project settings quality make sure that default so I think everything should be okay and it, okay it is recommended you enable shadows as this okay so let, let's actually follow the steps so make sure that we we don't skip anything. So if I go to quality, it says right here to go under quality. So we did, we're there, make sure the default level is chosen for your platform. It's high enough to support your desired graphics. Okay, so I, I know what they're saying. So on the default platform for iOS, which is this one right here, let's make sure that we can, we can go high. I think high is fine. And then shadows, we can do so it enables hard and soft shadows so i think we're okay and i think we're fine all right so that's that's it now let's go back into our pro our documentation here so we did that it says to set medium i set it to high set check project settings graphics for other graphic settings okay so we're good set up your game view for mobile comp compatibility so yeah make sure so this is this is something that we need to do so what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and if we go to the game view, we're going to select, this is the device that I have, so I'm going to do iPhone XS portrait. Awesome. So we'll just keep it at that level. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to rename this scene, and I'm just going to call it game. That way we have everything clean. I'm also going to go to file, 
and then just add this as an open scene and yes i think i think we're good so let's see select your chosen mobile resolution so we did that ensure scale slider set to the lowest which which we are so they're just make sure that making sure that this is set to the lowest and also making sure that you have it set to iphone xs all right so that it's everything that we need to do here i think i thought they had an example in there yeah they do so that's that, that, that's the one that i want to build so now that we have this project going you know those are some of the steps that you need to follow one thing that i want to do for this video i'm going to do more videos for Lito and in, in showing you how to integrate it into some of my games but for now we're just going to use our scene so i went into packages Lito beta sdk and then demo and then i'm just going to show i'm just going to do their their Lito showcase and we're going to build it to my device so i'm just going to go to file build settings at open scene and we're going to uncheck the one that i just added and everything looks good so i'm going to go to build and in here i'm going to say Lito, we can just say Lito, Lito demo, and then save it. All right, and this is gonna save and then build. So I'll just basically continue on as soon as the build is done, and then I'm also going to launch it on my device. So I'll just show you the demonstration of running this experience on my device. All right, guys, so it looks like it's finished building. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find it and run it on my device. So Lito demo. So I'm gonna open up the Unity iPhone project that we just created. So if you're doing this for the first time, make sure that you set up the basically the bundle identifier. Otherwise, it's not gonna build correctly. So what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm just gonna say com Dilmer Games and then Lito. And then on the demo here, I'll just say Lito. Then we know, and just say Lito demo, so it's more, more unique. And then the signing and capabilities, I'm gonna associate it with my basically my certificate so this is the one for my games and i have my device connected so it's going to hit play and that's going to build to my device so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how it works how the demo that they have works on my device and then i think we'll we'll basically just wrap it up all right guys so i attempted to build this to my device and as you can notice if i hit build and run it i'm going to get an exception and that's probably because i didn't read the entire documentation it's blowing up in trying to access Bluetooth capabilities. And if you notice, it said before, but I know that that's the issue because I had that in the logs before. And yeah, I don't think, I don't see it right now. But that's basically why I, why is it right now? So what I need to do, and I need to just, I'm gonna stop everything. And I need to go into the info P list and add a reason why I'm gonna be using Bluetooth. So if we click here on the plus symbol and we go ahead and add a new, so I just copy and paste the, the key that I needed to do is the privacy. And all we need to say is we're gonna be using this for the controller. So we are using this functionality, functionality for controller. Okay, and make sure that you spell that right. So we're just telling Apple that that's going to be why we're needing access to the, to the Bluetooth. And then hopefully after we build it, we shouldn't get any exceptions. So it's installing, copying the little files, and running on my iOS device, and I'm hoping that that clears that error. So running, running, and yeah, it didn't crash, so that's basically what I needed to do. So I'm gonna jump into my phone and show you how the experience works. All right guys, so I have this running on my device and I can show you how we can toggle through their demo. Their demo is actually really cool. You can go ahead and select different cubes and 3d objects based on their behavior you can do different things like this one i'm basically selecting one and then dropping it and i'm to be honest i'm really lost with the control i i'm not used to it and i think it's just you know if i try multiple times i will really get used to it so it's really fluid it's really cool and and actually the walls and everything it's doing a detection so it's doing plane detection on the walls plane detection on, on the floor you can kind of see a little bit by looking at the walls there here I'm changing the, the basically the tutorial. It says to, to take one of the items and, and basically it tells me to place one in there. So I'm gonna try to grab this one right here. And this is like a drunk person trying to, you know, trying to, to drive. That's how I feel right now, but, but it's actually really intuitive. Once you get used to it, it, it works really well. And here I'm gonna try something else. I think I am going to try and changing the 
the demo. So if I select that, here's a different demo. Here's another demo and here's another one. And this is this one is really cool because they have different behavior. This one I can move, this one I can drag to rotate, which is the red one here. And this one I can actually drag and move. And you'll see that this one I can just basically change change the size. So it just helps for a lot of different experiences. On, on this one I wanted to just to move the whole thing and they have it where you can move the entire, you know, the entire set. So moving it around, taking it up for a spin and then dropping it in place. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna try to pull it back here. I'm going to, until I see the handles. And right about there I can bring it in and then I'm gonna put it really close to me. There we go. And then I'm just gonna play with some of the UI components. So this is something that I noticed, I didn't see that demo, but if I, if I select that, it'll do a check mark. And you can do touch and hold, touch to toggle, so they just have different different experiences. So overall, I'm really happy with Lito and, and all the improvement they have made. I feel that the control is a lot more precise and the beta version works really well. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.